Hi, Corke. Hi, friends. Welcome back. Let's read our message. Hello, 4K. Let's make a graph. Well, Miss Lily and Miss Melissa. So a graph is something that we use to help us see, to compare how many things there are. So this time I want to show you how to do a graph and we're going to use letter A and letter B and we're going to compare how many we have of each. So the first thing we need is our graph. So I'm going to draw a graph. We just have rectangle and then I have a line down the middle and some lines going this way. And down here, I'm going to put an A. And over here, I'm going to put a B. And then this is going to help us keep track of how many of each letter we find because behind our pumpkins, there are letter A's and letter B's. All right, so I am going to flip over a pumpkin and we're going to see what letter it is. Now I'm going to show it to you and I want you to do the sound and the action for the letter and say the name of the letter if you can remember. All right, here we go. This silly pumpkin has a letter. What is that? Letter A. And A says, ah, ah, ah. So we found a letter A. So I'm going to color on our graph the first box right here, right above the A. I'm going to color it in. All right. Next one. Let's see what this pumpkin has. Oh, what is that again? A. Letter A. A, 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 A. So I'm going to color the next box above the A. There we go. Okay, how about this pumpkin? Are they all A's, I wonder? This is an A again. A, A, A. So I'm going to color the next box. How about this guy? He is a, what is that one? Do you remember what that letter is called? That's B. A. B, and B says ba, ba, ba. ba. So now I'm going to go over here to where my B is, and I'm going to color the box above the B. Okay, we have one more pumpkin. Let's see what he has behind him. Same one again, it's a B. Ba, ba, ba. I'm going to color the next box. Okay, that's all of our pumpkins and all of our letters. So now we can look at the graph. 